Hello everyone, peace of Christ to all. Uh, this is uh, an advertising movie made by Muslims to uh, for the sake of the propaganda of Islam. Uh, simply, uh, the movie, uh, short, short movie, is like a few minutes, eight minutes. Uh, two people in the elevator, one of them is an American and the other one is a Muslim woman. Now, the Muslim woman, she is not allowed to show her face, supposedly. Yeah, right. And uh, when the guy, he got injured, this Muslim woman, she took off her scarf and right away the Quran started playing in the background and she put her scarf around her in his injury he's bleeding and that is supposedly the mercy of islam i'm really touched like you know what i'm honestly i'm really touched this is amazing in the same time <clears throat> uh, we need to ask ourselves is that a movie is real like is that telling us a real story or this is a fabrication story do muslims really do that or Muslims do the opposite. Isn't it Muslims who cause people to bleed? Like, you know, just last week, how many people get killed? In Islamic countries. How many Christians get killed in Nigeria? I didn't see any Muslim woman taking her scarf to put her scarf around someone who is bleeding from those Christians getting killed. Or even Muslims. What a fabrication. What a way of deception. <laughs> see how beautiful islam it's a movie to advertise for islam that yes muslims we are strict with our religion but we are good to others you know how you can be good to others if you cannot be good even to yourself you know, when, when a Muslim tried to promote his religion to us and he's tried to set it out by making those movies, and by the way, I can tell, the one, the, both those people, they are Muslims. Because a, relig a religious Muslim anyway, she will not show her face and her, uh, her hair for the sake of a movie. This is haram. So they hire people who they have nothing to do with Islam to make this movie. It's paid. It's paid advertising, I, I bet you, by Saudi Arabia. So... The story is very simple. That's we know we are Muslims who, who, if you know, like you see, our woman, she should not show her hair, but because there is a Christian guy, he is injured, or an atheist guy, you know, she took off, took off her scarf because she want to help him. Let us go and see if that is exist in Islam or not. Let us take a look. This is. Uh, the book of Sinan of uh, uh, Abu Dawood. And just to show you how you can find those hadith, you know, for me, I, I memorized them. Uh, uh, like, I, you know, good fortune of them, let us say. Uh, for sure, not in English, in Arabic, but I know like what to look for. So you search for killed her in Sinan of Abu Dawood and you will find the hadith. It's hadith number 38, book number 38, hadith number 4348. The story in here is saying, Narrated Abdullah ibn Abbas. A blind man had a slave mother. She is what? She is a slave mother. Please focus with me. A slave mother, which means she is a slave, and she have a children. She have a child. Who used to abuse the Prophet. Okay, how she, how, how she abused the Prophet? She is a slave. She is a poor slave. How a poor slave can abuse a leader of an army? Let us see how she abused him. And this uh, uh, this uh, uh, praised him, which means she disrespect him. He forbid her. Oh, this is the abuse. She don't like Muhammad. She don't accept him to be a prophet. This is abusing. The victim now is Muhammad. Muhammad is getting abused. <laughs> Why? Because the poor slave, who she don't even own her life, she don't even own, own her, 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 her bread or her, her, her freedom. She is abusing Muhammad because she don't accept him as a prophet. So the owner, the master of the slave, he forbid her, but she did not stop. 
All right. Should not stop from what? From saying things about Muhammad. She don't like him. So he rebuked her, but she did not give up her habit. It's a habit. Man, look what will happen will cost her. One night she began to slander the Prophet. Wow, man. Look at this horrible crime. She is slandering the Prophet and abuse him. Man, Muhammad now is a victim. He's being abused. Well, how, how, how abuse him? Where? Who is the slave of who? Just because she don't like Muhammad, she's abusing him. You see what abuse means in Islam? This is a crime now. You say Muhammad is a false prophet, you are abusing him. So he took a dagger and placed it in her belly. What what the what the good Muslim master? He put he 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 grabbed a dagger, huh? And which means like the same as a knife actually, you know, actually, actually sharper, and put it in her belly. How merciful Muslims are, man! Like come on. Like, come on, come on, you know, like, unbelievable, this is beautiful. My ears is coming down. You see, in the elevator, the woman, she took her scarf off and she put it around the leg of the man. Muslims are very beautiful, very sensitive. What are you talking about? Mercy come first. Mercy come first. And this is the mercy of Islam. The guy, because the woman, she don't like Muhammad, he grabbed a dagger and he put it in her belly. MashaAllah, praise be to Allah. Allahu Akbar. And press it and kill her. Wow, a lot of mercy, a lot of blood is coming. A child who came between her legs, her child, her poor child. Where is he? Between her legs, huh? He was showered with the blood. He was simmered with the blood that was there when the morning came. The Prophet, peace upon him. I don't know where they got the word peace, peace upon him in Arabic. It is Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, which means Allah pray on him and salute him. In English, they translate it as peace upon him, fabricators. No problem. He was informed about it, which means about what happened. So Muhammad now, he is the Prophet. He is the king of the Muslims. He want to do justice. He assembled the people and said, I adjure by Allah, the man who done this action, and I adjure him by my right to him that he should stand up. Jumping over the necks of the people and the trembling, the man stood, stood up, which means the killer. He sat before the Prophet, bees upon him, and he said, Apostle of Allah, I am your master. She used to abuse you and disrespect you. I forbid her, but she did not stop. And I rebuked her, but she did not abandon her habit. I have two sons like pearls from her, and she was my companion. Last night she began to abuse and disrespect you, disgrace you. So I took a dagger and put it in her belly and press it it till I killed her there upon the prophet peace peace upon him look the mercy look the mercy is going to drop from Muhammad now just wait said oh be witness no retaliation is payable for her blood uh oh what 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 the women she get killed just because she said things she don't like about Muhammad her blood is for free and you are telling me in the elevator, the Muslim women, she saw somebody getting injured. The mercy of Islam is rubbing his leg. A lot of mercy. So which one is the fabrication? The story which is reported by Muslims, approved by Muslims, mentioned by Muslims, and preserved by Muslims. Or the story of the elevator, since when, by the way, Muslim women, they are allowed to go in elevator alone with men. Isn't it this is haram to be with one man in Islam? Isn't it your prophet, he said that a, woman, a man and a woman alone, the devil will be the third? And this is why always he pre preferred to be alone with women? 
So when the Muslims, I can show you tons of reference. Uh, you know, go, go and read my book. See the mercy of Muhammad. Muhammad, when he walk in the street, he drop mercy. He don't sweat. This guy, he walk in the street, people collect mercy behind him. Unbelievable. Like when I used to live in the Middle East, we don't have dirt in the street. We have mercy. Like mercy here, mercy there. We are sick of mercy, man. Wherever you go, mercy is everywhere. Like actually, we produce mercy for the whole world. You know, we produce mercy and oil and gas. Not, I don't mean fart. You know, gas for like uh, propane. So it is a joke. It is silly. It is a stupid. It is a lie. Shame on you, Muslim liars. Please spread the video. And don't forget to tell your friends about my book, which is in Amazon.com. If you want to learn the truth about Islam, not a fabrication of a movie to promote the stupid Islam over reality, saying to you that Muslims are people of mercy, go and watch the news about Syria. Go and watch the news about Bahrain. Go and watch the news about Nigeria. Go and watch the news all over the world and see the mercy of Muslims. Very merciful people. Learn the truth from the source of truth not from liars we can make all kinds of movies but the fact your prophet is an evil man who accept that a woman she can be killed a woman she have a children's her child was showered by blood between her legs when she was killed and the excuse is that she was slandering the prophet slandering so you see with this guy is he say one word about muhammad in the elevator the muslim woman she will chop his head she will make him shish kebab if she have a dagger with her she will put him in her belly and the prophet will say she's good no retaliation no punishment her blood is for free his blood is for free he was insulting me we are people of mercy we love mercy we give mercy we do mercy we are muslims what a big fat liars don't forget guys to tell your friends about our tv show which is uh, in livestream.com and all of you you can uh, join us actually yesterday we have a, a tv show with brother uh, sam shamoon and uh, osama and it was me with them too and we have a very good time and as you see uh, if you look in the screen the quality is very good we don't have advertising um, you know, nothing to disturb the sound, the quality, everything is perfect. The picture is perfect. This is a person in that sense, and the Holy Spirit is a person in that sense. Because they're distinct persons, they have a relationship with one another. They love one another, they communicate with one another, and they always exist as one God. This is really about the Trinity. Now, the Muslims have their own Trinity, as I said, but it's not identical to ours. So I won't get into that because I want to focus on Christian topics. Now, talking about Jesus, if you ask me that question, and let me know when you want me to stop and interject or make a comment or whatever. Let me just quickly. So, uh, you can go. I'm going to post the link under the video. You can go and watch the episode yesterday. And next week, we'll have Pastor Joseph with us, who is an ex Muslim who became a pastor for Christ. Praise the Lord. Actually, he's very well known with the way he shouts for the Lord, saying, Praise the Lord. I love this guy. So, uh, uh, be with us every Thursday. We have two shows actually. One at three at three p.m. I made it for uh, I made it early for those who live in Europe or in different countries overseas. Uh, you know because our timing in USA is different. And we have one at nine, uh, which is uh, uh, you know nine p.m. Eastern time, New York time. So every week we will have different uh, brother with us, and we will have Sam Shamoon more and more with us. You know this is not only the first time he will be. He is always. Uh, uh, you know, is going to do activities with us. Christ is Lord. Islam is false. I mean, thank you.